Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Well, hi there, Mr. King. Mr. King is in shed. He's just come through opaque. I bet you would like something to eat, huh? Well, I think uh, having some water is probably your a better choice for you right now, so you don't have any problem shedding. One of these days I have to clean and disinfect a bigger tub and let him... Where are you going? Huh? Come on. Oh, come on. There you go. No strolling. He's a funny guy. Uh, um, you know, he used to drink from the squeeze bottle. But uh, doesn't any longer. He obviously doesn't drink his water from his bowl. Yeah, I know, I know. Life is rough. Hi, Mr. Mujai. We're going to be temperamental now that we ate, huh? There's no way I'm opening your door. What? What did I do to bother you? I wasn't even talking to you. No, it's not my fault you're not swallowing that one correctly. Go, go eat your mouse. Leave me alone. <clears throat> okay, now he has to look over here and watch what I'm doing. And you're giving away my mice again. Come on, I don't have all day, but there you go. Good job. <clears throat> I know you're not happy with me these days, huh? I... I was changing the water bowl and touched her and and he got really really torqued off at me. Come on. Here. I'll just leave it there. You can Oh, there is your head. Here, come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yes, I, I touched him, and boy, did he become unglued. <clears throat> okay, no, Weasel, stop it. Come on, you got some. No, you don't get any more. It's not the weekend. You give them one, and they want 20. Well, my, did we have a struggle with that one? No reason to rush me for it. Hi, Mr. Weasel. <laughs> Look, at, he, he's just so frustrated. He, he wants more. Mm. Cage cleaning weekend coming up. Are you a sniffler, huh? Are you a sniffler? Yeah, you are. I see a big pupil, huh? No, I don't have any food. Are you a sniffler? Huh? You are. You are. You're a head bobber. Oh, I see. I think you are. Yes, I know. I see you're agitated. I know. I'm, I'm bobbing my head. No. What's the matter with your cage mate, huh?
No, you stopped? Huh? I know. I know. I probably saw you moving and, uh, and then you got all upset, huh? I know you can smell mice, but you guys got fed pretty good this weekend. I know, I know. I know it's not enough for you, huh? No. Yes, I know, I know. You really, huh? You're going to report me to the union? The snake keepers union, huh? Yeah, you are. Oh, a little mouth opening, huh? Yes. I know. I know, I know. Are you watching me uh, talk to the rhino vipers? Is that the deal? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I know, I shook my head. I did, I did. Okay, you're making me a little nervous. Normally her head's resting right up here. And the boy is uh, over there where he's watching this whole thing. People say they can't hear, but when I sniffle louder, they uh, react. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I don't want you to get too wicked out. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go. Okay? You know, sometimes I see the cutest pictures, but... Uh, I know as soon as I open the, uh, the door here that uh, they're going to move, especially the large male there. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Look how cute that is. And Daddy's laying his head on the baby. I just know when I open the uh, door here, Dad will move and... Uh, or baby will move and then I won't have a cute picture anymore. Let's say he's already moving. Oh well. Oh. He's interested in mating. The female is not. I hope you're not going to uh, try to mate with one of your babies, you toad. That's mating behavior, but uh, uh, mom isn't feeling very well, and uh, she probably will not take kindly to breeding. She's looking for something to eat. Aren't you, huh? They're such cool snakes. Not a lot is known about their venom. But I guarantee you it would be painful. Probably local necrosis, swelling, perhaps some uh, problems clotting. Don't really know. Hey, girly, how you doing? No, don't even bother. There's the male. I have to watch out my fingertips are on that side of the camera. There's the male. He's a bad eater. He generally only likes to eat uh, geckos, too. 
he will occasionally, when he's hungry, take a, a mouse. But these two girls uh, will eat most anything. There's the second one on the back wall. What? You want to do Vietnamese horned viper cam? Huh? Hello. There you go. Really? It's a nest of rhino vipers. Yeah, at least you're on top, right, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she crushes your ass when you're down below. Yeah, I know, I know. We can hardly find you. Are you a happy snake, huh? Yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know. What can I say? Yes. Unfortunately, you don't get live food. I know, I know. Because you don't always uh, take uh, uh, your meal, huh? right? Yeah, I know. Oh, you're going to talk to a Tory? Very good. You guys probably smell mouse because I've got live feeding going on. But we don't show people that, do we? No, no. We don't need uh, animal rights people having more ammunition to hurt us, right? Yeah, I know, I know. It's much more humane to have uh, clinically euthanized animals with CO2 and, uh, and frozen and brought to, a, uh, to the freezer here where you can uh, eat very nice clean rodents, right? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You're very excited, huh? I know. All right, I'll see you later. I got to take care of everybody else, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. You guys are just so cute. I know, I know. I, I, just, I, I could stay here all night and talk with these guys. This is an unusual rhino viper. The reason why it's unusual it's because it's almost a year old, and as you can see, it's quite diminutive. I call it my dwarf rhino viper. Uh, this little character uh, just, you know, never started to eat on his own and uh, was always very shy and a runner. And uh, I got, you know, I had to force feed him for literally months. Uh, then uh, recently, probably about two months or three months ago, he started e eating live hoppers himself or herself and uh, uh, just shed out and uh, just uh, uh, looks pretty good. A little bit uh, dehydrated still, uh, but uh, uh, pretty darn good looking uh, nonetheless and a miracle that it's still even alive. Uh, it's still quite a very frightened rhino viper. It easily startles and, you know, you can see the pupil size. It will strike uh, quite aggressively uh, in its own defense. It, uh, it uh, doesn't like me so much because I've had to force feed it for a while. But I think if it uh, continues on, I think it will, uh, it will survive. And, and, you know, I don't know what size it will ever get to. Uh, but, you know, it might actually uh, grow uh, and thrive. Who knows? Uh, at any rate, uh, it's quite a cute little nipper anyway, and uh, you can see it breathing uh, quite uh, rapidly there. It's, uh, it's a bit frightened now, so I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the uh, rack and, and uh, uh, let it calm down and uh, get all uh, unfrightened. Oh, look at it go. Well, this is a rarity. The weasel in a very, very foul mood. What's the matter, bud? Huh? I sort of have to... Oops. Sorry, I turned on night shot. There we go.
you imagine if you stumble on one of these at night time uh, hearing that in the weeds uh, would be uh, quite impressive and stepping on them would not be a, a very very wise thing to do matter of fact in that mood it's not even wise to open the door another red scale day well, I think this, uh, <laughs> hi, girly, how you doing? I think that will do the trick. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, we're letting this cool down just a little bit. Yes, we are. Just relax. We don't want to burn our tongues, do we? Huh? We don't want to burn our tongues. No, 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 no. No climbing. No climbing or biting. Here, here, come on. Come on. Get it. <laughs> I don't care if it's hot. I want it. Oh my goodness. She's getting big. She's getting big. Aren't you? Oh, just like a forest culbra. Just doesn't like to be touched. You definitely uh, uh, get into their space and they don't like it. But I don't necessarily like them climbing on the camera either. Yep, that one's just your size there, Missy. Okay, she's finishing up. There you go. That's a good girl. There you go. You allow, allow me to do uh, forest culprit cam while you eat, huh? Well, you don't care, do you? I just want to eat. Mm, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, I'm shy. I don't like to be watched while I eat. A little drop of uh, bloody water on her nose. Oh, okay, there she goes. One of the uh, most interesting things that I see behavior-wise with uh, these Jamies, other than uh, they're quite relaxed around me, is it's just the cameras they're uh, blunt here is uh, they're quite uh, jealous and competitive when it comes to food come on I don't have all night come on come on this is not the first one you've eaten tonight there you go take that I mean look at <laughs> look at Slinky he's uh, stalking uh, blunt because uh, he got the uh, uh, got the mouse and he didn't and uh, it actually can be uh, quite violent at times <laughs> there's a girl come on come on you already ate one too don't take forever there you go You know, one would think that they're really not capable of being angry, but they certainly can. Uh, jealousy uh, is nothing but uh, uh, another form of anger. Come on, I don't have all night. Come on. Now, usually when I see it occurring, I try to put an end to it immediately because uh, unfortunately, I am in the middle of it, and uh, with mouse snapping and uh, uh, coil smashing and stuff, uh, uh, in the middle is not a damn good place to be. 
Now come on. <clears throat> all right, all right. If you're not going to eat blunt, uh, I'm sure the female will. Here you go, girly. Here you go, girly. <laughs> Get off the snake hook. Oh, the girl just grabbed it. Come on, stop. You didn't want it over here, you toad. I'll be damned if you're going to take it from the female. She's going to kick your butt. Come here, Slink. Slinky's still pissed at Blunt. There you go, Slink. There you go. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Brown. Oh, there's Mr. Brown. Look what I've got for Mr. Brown. We've got... Oh, no! He was so so into it he pulled her head off oh my god mr. Brown mr. Grant Brown that's not a very nice way to treat chicks when they come to visit you at home ready mr. Brown huh are you ready Oh, good job. Oh, you know, I forgot to give you the head. Don't you want the head to mate up with the other half of the body you consumed? Let's see if you're uh, good enough to uh, find that on your own. <laughs>